Hi, and welcome to this quick guide to the new plugin management capabilities in the latest version of TiddlyWiki. First, we'll go to tiddlywiki.com slash pre-release, which is our beta of TiddlyWiki. And then we'll save a copy to the local hard drive. I'll call it Plugin Experiments. And then open the newly downloaded file in Firefox. Immediately we get the tiddlyfox plugin asking us if we want to save changes to this file. So we'll say yes. And now we're set up with a tiddlywiki document that we can use. If we visit Control Panel and the Plugins tab, and you can see a listing of the plugins that are currently installed. And I can use the little arrow icon to see more details about each plugin. You can also see up here that divided into tabs are the different types of plugins that TiddlyWiki supports. Ordinary code plugins, themes which change the appearance, and language plugins, which currently we don't have any installed. Uh, you may have also noticed there's a button here that allows you to temporarily disable a plugin, which can be useful for debugging and subsequently re-enable it. But let's explore what happens if we click the new big blue Get More Plugins button. We've got a modal dialog that lists the plugin libraries that are registered in this TiddlyWiki. By default, just the official plugin library is registered. You can see the URL here. So we press the green button to open the plugin library. And after a pause, you can see a listing of all of the plugins that are in the library. And you can see for the ones that are already installed, there's a reinstall button. For the ones that aren't installed at the moment, there's an install button. So let's go ahead and install the highlight plugin. And up here we can flick to themes and languages. So let's install a pile of languages. And then down at the bottom, there's a close button. And now you can see that there's a new prompt that because we've modified the plugins that we need to save changes. You can see the saved wiki notification over here. And then refresh, which allows the changes to take effect. And now, having installed those languages, if we turn on the language switcher, you can see that there are the various languages that we installed there. So there you go. Improved capabilities for plugin management in TiddlyWiki 5.1.8, which will be out very soon. Thanks very much for your time. Bye bye.